Free Association, which is a radio show on Revolution Radio, and Revolution Radio is listener supported. So if you mm-hmm. go along to revolution.radio or freedomslips.com, you'll find a, a place to become a patron or, and a place to donate. So if you if you can make a contribution, uh, we're very grateful for that because it keeps the servers running and keeps things happening. And it, we couldn't do it without you. So if you can contribute, please come along to revolution.radio, do what you can. All right, as I said, I'm, I'm doing interactive for the first, at least the first 10 minutes. So I'm going to say hello to Boy Solomon, Crab Cake, Comet, uh, Mer Bailey. I think there's a few other people in there as well. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the list. Dog, I didn't see Dog in there, but maybe maybe they're in there. Captain Fred, I saw. Uh, May Street might still be around, usually is. So say hello to everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's always interesting to to work out what I'm doing. So I've just been in a philosophy group, uh, which I haven't done since I started doing the radio show at four o'clock because the timing doesn't work. But uh, I got an invite this afternoon at about two o'clock into a group on Skype. All right, that's good. It it takes a, it takes me restarting everything, boy Solomon. The trick is to not have anything open on the phone when you're using the phone as a hotspot. This is what I've discovered. If you've got more than one app going, then it blows the whole thing. But if you can do it as long as there's nothing open on the phone. So yeah, I got invited into a, a philosophy group at two o'clock, so two hours ago, and I'm. I extricated myself from there at about quarter to four, so I didn't get a chance to do the tech properly the way that I would normally do, which is restarted a couple of times, just to be sure. But uh, we'll get there in the end. I've I've made a list yesterday of, of some videos to play and some things to talk about. And one of the things I wanted to talk about was, uh, broadly speaking, metaphysics of money. Uh, so, with metaphysics, it's kind of about belief systems. It's about faith and concepts and understanding. Uh, the money piece is about flow in a very kind of abstract way. Uh, money flows, blood flows, rivers flow, that kind of idea, the circularity, the it's circularity, but it never really goes. It kind of never really goes away. Money, it just looks like it might have gone away. So it's it is it is flowing from an individual point of view, but from the point of view of the the whole thing, it's just moving around. It's like blood moving around somebody's body. It doesn't go anywhere. It just stays within that system, and then. You notice it sometimes, and sometimes you don't notice it. You notice it when it's not doing what you want it to do. So I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about belief systems around money because they're tricky, and it, it plays into, and it kind of follows on from the thing I did about uh, psychological reversal a couple of weeks ago. So... Because the one of the things that gets people reversed is not being able to do the things that they want to do, the things that they desire to do. So it's frustrated desire. Oh, excellent crab cake. I didn't get as far as the drama of a gifted child in the end. I started to, but then I, I got sidetracked into something else about 30 seconds in. Uh, I will get that. I will get to it at some point, but it takes me a little bit. It takes me a little while. So blood flow. 
blood flow from the position of the individual, but from the point of view of the whole, it's a circulation. All right, it does. It does tend to talking about the drama of the gifted child. It's, I think, all books really are you interpret from the place in consciousness that you are at the time. So whatever you get from the book is more to do with you than uh, it's as much to do with you as it is to the words on the page. And we were talking about language in this group that I, that I was in earlier on. And the, the language that people use in a, in a book is it can produce a lot of interpretations. It's almost like the, the book reinterprets itself with every reader. So there's, there's something about books that, that, that means that they jump out at you on a shelf sometimes. I've had this happen to me on a few times. The Way of the Peaceful Warrior is the one that, that I remember jumping out at me. So I used to live in a place in London called Stoke Newington, which is north northeast London. It's kind of Islington and up a bit, or Tottenham and down, if you know where either of those places are. But it's, it's about three miles away from the centre of London. I was there for about 15 years, uh, just off uh, Stoke Newington Church Street. So... And I, there was, with Stoke Newington Church Street, there was two alternative healing centres on that street, which was within about 50 yards of where I was living. One of them was. And a, a very, very good second-hand bookshop. And uh, the books used to jump out at me in that bookshop on a very regular basis. And I think you, your consciousness kind of harmonizes with the book in some way, if that makes any kind of sense. So the language of the book and the language that you're using internally kind of match. There's a, there's a, a convergence or a, a confluence or a coherence about it. And then you, then you integrate the book or you... You find a way to, to recognize what's going on inside of you through the book sometimes. Yeah, do you want me to do some, some EFT again today then? Uh, it wasn't on my list, but I'm quite happy to do it. If, I, if, there's, if there's demand for it, I'll do it. I'm not sure what about though. I'll find something though. There's always something comes up for me during this hour. So I'll save that for the last quarter of an hour though. I've got to fill a bit of space first. I've got half an hour to fill. So I'm going to play a video, I think. I found, I'm going to have a look anyway. So there's a couple of videos I was looking at going to be not soundproofed at all this short a day because there's somebody hammering upstairs which is always a, a thing that could potentially happen but it seems to be happening this afternoon so I was looking at uh, a guy called Robert A. Russell been listening to his stuff for the past, past two or three weeks and uh, some good material on that on YouTube about prosperity. I'm just going to pick something at random because I like all of his stuff. It's quite Christian and a little bit religious, but uh, I'm just going to. There's a, a book on there called You Too Can Be Prosperous. I'm just going to pick a random 10 minutes 
because he mostly says the same thing in right let me let me screen share and get this done properly might work you'll have to give me some feedback You're not hearing the audio and the video. Then. Okay, let's stop that. Let's do something else. Still haven't figured that out properly yet. All right, we'll do something else. So, the idea of uh, of what Robert Robert A. Russell was getting to is uh, the word prosperity. So, well, have I gone completely? Right, let me try again. <clears throat> 